Here's another great analogy for muscle growth potential. I had a question earlier today from a uh, YouTube subscriber that asked if a particular individual isn't responding from one or at most two sets of training to muscular failure, then is there something else they should be doing or another more effective way to train because their genetics are different? The short answer is no. And here's where the analogy comes in. Consider a suntan, probably one of the best analogies when it comes to exercise because the sun is merely a stress on your skin which stimulates an adaptive response which is upregulation of melanin to darken your skin. The amount of melanin you have available is genetically predetermined. And as we all know, if you are a Northern Irish person of Northern Irish descent or Northern European descent, you very likely are not going to develop an impressive suntan, say, from someone in South, say, com comparable to someone in South America. And you know as a fact that no matter what you do in terms of tanning, you're not going to get that dark. Now, if you compare it to exercise, Training to muscle failure is equivalent to using an extremely high quality tanning booth with UV bulbs. Now say you were this individual of Northern European descent and you used the extremely high quality tanning booth with the optimal amount of time exposure to the UV light and you did not develop an impressive tan. We would agree that if you used other tanning booths, other suntan oils, other different amounts of UV exposure, whether it's three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, a thousand minutes, the outcome is going to be the same. It's going to be an unimpressive tan because genetically you do not possess the melanin required to result in a good tan. When it comes to exercise, same thing is true. If you are not responding to intense training to muscular failure, which by nature requires lower volume, then trying different approaches is not going to make you grow more muscle. Trying different approaches is similar to trying different tanning booths, different suntan oils, different UV exposure times, and expecting to finally develop the skin tone of somebody from South America or Brazil or something. So if training to muscle failure isn't working for you, it's not because you haven't found the right approach for your genetics, it's because of your genetics. You do not have the genetic requirements to build a lot of muscle tissue or strength or achieve what you would consider a highly aesthetic physique. Just like somebody from Northern Ireland does not have the genetic requirements to develop a dark bronze skin tone. It's a tough pill to swallow, but the truth is if you have not responded to resistance training yet, no matter what approach you've done, your genetics suck. And changing your approach and changing your diet and changing your supplements is not going to have a significant effect on your response to resistance training.